good evening welcome back to in the could this is 21st july 2023 6:43 pm and today was a stable diffusion day forum day so what is it that i have to document today i made one video two versions of it let me just play that video first so you get context to what it is that i'm speaking about if i can find yep okay here we go This is one there was another version of the same thing So if I show you my the forum exports, it's all in this one folder, and you see this try one, try two, try three, try four, try eight. Actually, I added nine tries to get to this point. Uh, let me show you try one. This is something I was doing last night, and you see this is very weird. Like the init image was being used, but it was getting stretched some very weirdly. I don't know why, and none of the prompts or anything was getting generated. So this was try one. Okay. and then i kept every single time that i made an iteration i kept adding something initially i was trying to figure the motion out so the motion comes right so i was very happy to see that this milk splash actually became a person's leg and then there is this person doing some things there like the woman doing weights uh, yeah so my motion was na- nailed down not here Mo- here also the motion was a bit of a problem up until here i think the motion yeah this i was like okay if we don't do any sort of motion can we just have things moving and changing in the place and uh, turns out that no you need some form of motion yeah you see it becoming a kid towards the end but uh, no you need some motion for it apparently you need some motion for things to work and uh, this was just try four i don't know what happened here <laughs> so i interrupted it in the middle itself then this is try five where yes i think this is where i've nailed down the motion exactly how i want so the motion i will explain the settings for it basically we going rotation y in blender how you have rotation z of the cube which is this axis that is y in the forum for some reason and that's normal i think even in after effects they do it this way where uh, y is the this plane and z is behind instead of z being up and down which is how it is in blender that's how that's what i'm used to so that's why the trial and error that rotation y is this and rotation y positive means that you'll go up so we're trying to go up as we're moving just a little bit up and we're trying to rotate in the y so this was actually a decent uh, enough thing cuz you see a lot of uh, changes are happening and stuff okay that is nice then try 6 what is this again now we've got gotten the motion down we're trying to figure out i think i was trying to figure out the prompts like how how many frames should i be rendering because even that towards the very end i increased the number of frames we rendered so i think this is one of the ones which actually made through to the one of the options that i shared and yeah i was very impressed to see that the face is changing from a man to a woman to a baby my only concern till the very end here was the fact that towards the very end i feel the strength of it has completely gone on. like so here you see the the substance in it uh, is very strong but if you see towards the very end it's completely fading out and stuff which uh, like up until here it's fine it's going well it's going good but the moment you get towards the end like from this point onwards it's just almost gray things and it's very difficult to make out what is happening so it's losing its uh, i don't know what you call it vigor and this is the final try and these ones uh, which are 26 seconds long which is about 400 frames or so it took me 1 hour and 30 minutes to render this out so i was doing show one a few episodes on dad's laptop while this was rendering uh, so there was like a dual thing situation again here are a lot of nice things are happening uh, based on our prompts and everything see towards the end you see it's like very smudged and not very clear like you compare this frame 
and this frame here is a lot more element in it what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this settings file here i'm going to say right click i'm going to say right click copy as path and in the settings file here i'm going to paste this and remove the double quotes and i'm going to load all settings so you'll get all the settings here which i used for the final one now let me also make sure that all of my screen is visible so you see uh, run over here we're using dpm sde class we're using 25 steps 512 by 910 to get that vertical aspect see it is this because it's taking settings from the previous something then keyframes 3d wrap maximum frames 400 cadence this is something that was by default at 2 which means that it is applying the diffusion or whatever it does to images only to every second image so then there is like a gap in between when you change it to one it is being applied to every single image which is nice I mean, it sounds nice this noise schedule is something i just randomly saw from a youtube video and that is something i put in here but uh, i want to understand what this exactly means and then because i think it's the noise strength slash schedule over time which is causing uh, towards the end i'm losing substance in the in the render so that and for motion as i said translation y02 what this basically means when you just leave it as 02 it means that every single frame it is going to be translated in y by 2 so for second first frame it will be first frame or first second i'm not sure but every iteration is going to go up by two units in y yeah go up and rotation 3d y it gives us that rotation 3d uh, it's, go it's rotating by 0.5 every single iteration so that's that noise is something i have to understand coherence is kept at lab if you keep it at rgb or none then the the color you see these uh, from the initial frame like you see all the video is made from the initial frame so this frame here has white shades of white and brown in it so that is what is being translated throughout the video shades of white brown and that's i think that's what sells the illusion of a video of this sort okay so that's lab anti blur again here i have to understand what all of this means half of more than half of the things i don't understand here prompts this is something that's interesting so at zero we have a prompt of a man skipping rope made of milk ultra detailed and this negative is coming from the previous settings but basically a man skipping rope made of milk that's what my prompt is earlier i was trying to put a prompt in the first few trials a man is skipping a rope and that rope is made of milk but that wasn't being understood by stable diffusion so you want to keep it like one line of prompt that's what i am understanding don't make it don't add a conjunction between and try to describe it that way it doesn't work a woman is lifting mates made of milk a child is studying under a lamp made of milk just one continuous statement a man is playing basketball with a swirl of milk around him okay in it is one image which i showed from the uh, this video that i took stock video then control net i don't understand what this is hybrid video i don't understand what this is an output again there's nothing to be done here now for the things which i said that i do not understand what this is i have a plan of understanding how it works so apparently i was searching online and i came across a, a udemy course somebody's made a udemy course on uh, stable diffusion already this guy here i think his name is aaron and uh, yeah, I was just trying to pick and see things like noise and everything, but I want to go ahead and see it from the very beginning because like basic things I want to clear because uh, that's how I like to approach things like understand fundamentals instead of this trial and error is something that will always be a part of your workflow. You, you want to learn this stable diffusion, you want to learn any software, any art, trial and error is going to be an integral part of your toolkit but having something like this as an encyclopedia where I can go back and see what, ex what thing exactly means. Uh, that that is amazing so i'm gonna just watch through it's not a lot of content it's like three hours or so so i'm gonna watch all of this videos tomorrow over the weekend and we'll see if if our knowledge of stable diffusion gets more uh, formalized and we can like make informed decisions on why uh, such such value is needed for such such parameter and then when i get comfortable to the point that whatever i'm thinking i can exactly execute that in stable diffusion then i'll start making proper full-fledged tutorials on stable diffusion because uh, it's very good for the forum i made this video yesterday where adobe firefly is a better alternative and that video seems to be getting a few views like youtube is recommending that video and the thumbnail is super nice super simple no text no nothing and those kind of videos seem to be working well on youtube for some reason that's where we're headed thanks so much for being in the car i'll catch you tomorrow peace